Hey guys. Hey Spanga. How's everybody doing? We see everybody's starting to check in. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna give everybody a few minutes to hop on. Um, if you can do us a favor when you're hopping on, um, throw your name in your studio in there so we can say hey and we know who's joining the workout today. Yes, perfect. Hi Erin, hi Michelle. What's up? What's up? We see you guys. <laughs> Molly Stoop Fitness coming in hot. Guys, it's good to see you all. Um, we've got a lot of instructors jumping on too. People all over the country, this is gonna be great. Um, this is our first live workout on the corporate platform. Amy and I are super excited to bring it to you. I'm Heather, if you guys don't know me. And I'm Amy Nielsen. And um, for today's workout, so we are going to be, you guys are limited with things you have at home um, to use for the workout. So we're gonna be focusing a lot on time under tension and doing a lot of pulsing and isometric things today, but since we've got a few minutes before we start the workout, do me a favor. You've got a couple of minutes to go grab a couple of things. Grab, we're using water bottles today. Grab a couple of water bottles, soup cans, whatever you got. Just something, it doesn't even have to be heavy because the way we're going to be using it, we'll make it heavy. And grab either some, an extra pair of socks. You're going to be using it on your hands or like some towels, paper plates, whatever that you can slide around on the floor on, depending on if you're on hardwood or um, carpet, that's gonna help. So we'll give you a couple minutes to do that. Grab a couple of weights, something soft and smooth for your hands. In the meantime, hello, I see hello from Pasadena. How's Pasadena doing out there? We see, who else do we have? Oh, Kim Spangamokina, hi Kim. <laughs> Again, guys, giving you just a few minutes to go ahead, get situated. Make sure you all grab some water. Uh, grab a towel, you're definitely going to need it. And uh, while we're waiting to get started at 1.30, you know, we just wanted to let you guys know that these workouts are going to be coming live to you every day uh, from here on out for the next couple weeks. So make sure you guys are tuning in. Um, not only myself and Heather are going to be on here, but you're going to see instructors from all over the Spanga Nation. So we're super excited to bring that to the table. We've got some awesome instructors in our network, so join in anytime. Awesome. You guys are still loading up here. Oh my gosh. We're up to like 140 people watching. This is going to be awesome. Are you guys ready? I'm yes. ready. Virtual I'm ready. Tens. I'm so ready. I know. I'm, I'm especially ready to hit, kick Heather's butt today and uh, it's going to be awesome. So I need one. I've been cooped <laughs> up one. for a little too long. I need one. I'm waiting for my family to pop up on here. I told them they better log in. They get enough of this at home. They're probably sick of us. Colleen. Okay, so Colleen, she's a member with us in Mokina now, and I have to tell a little story because I was so, it was so awesome when I saw that she joined because our daughters used to be in daycare in a completely different town before she moved to the Mokina area, and it was just like, I like shed a tear. I was so excited that she came. So, well, hi, Colleen. We're all coming together. Get your daughter involved in these workouts right now. That's right. Where else do we got? We got, uh, I saw... A first post, baby. That's right. <laughs> and guys, we got one more minute. Again, we're getting everybody situated. There's going to be a ton of people that are just logging in right now. Um, so to give everybody a heads up, we're, we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for everybody to go ahead and grab their stuff. Like Heather said, grab a couple of uh, light water bottles. Um, you, uh, you don't need anything heavy. If you do have some light dumbbells at home, that's completely fine. Um, as well. Also, make sure you guys check your email um, and things of that nature. Any Spanga posts, your studio location posts, there are some workouts that you guys can do anytime that are not in a live fashion. But um, we are so excited that you guys are joining us today, midday, um, and uh, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. I'm going to lead you guys through a little bit of a warm up. So, um, as you guys, again, you're still grabbing some, some lighter uh, weights, as we're calling them today, some lighter water bottles, uh, your plastic plates or paper plates or your socks, whatever you guys can grab. Go ahead, do so now, and uh, we're about to uh, get started here. Good okay, guys. I see people from Roswell, from Geneva. We're all over the place. Yes, I love it. Yay. I love it. Shout out. Let's say we got a... <laughs> Shout out from Broomfield Spanga in Colorado. Hey, Colorado. Yes, good idea. 
Nikki, you can fill gallon milk jugs. Yes, right? yes, absolutely. A very good point. I know any of you that have kids, I know you've got gallons of milk in there. Save the jugs. Yes, yeah, save the jugs. And even more, if you want a little bit heavier, freeze them. <laughs> Brian and Jim, hey. We miss you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started here, crew. So, um, hello from Pasadena. Hi, we got a lot of a lot of Pasadena crew coming in. Albuquerque coming in hot. I see you. We see your hustle. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up here. So, with that being said, we're gonna get started with some hand walkouts. So Heather's gonna demonstrate some hand walkouts. She's gonna grow really, really tall, nice and lengthy. She's gonna hinge at her hips and slowly work her way all the way down into a high plank position. Hold it there for just a moment. Inhale, go ahead and bring it right back up. As she exhales, she lets it go all the way down into that high plank position. Just really getting the body warmed up, working on those hip flexors, total body, hinging at the hips. Exhale, bringing it down. High plank position, just like so, holding it there for a breath. Now we're gonna add on to this crew. So as Heather starts to grow, she's gonna take it back down into that high plank position. Exhale, send those hips up. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. That's okay. She's going into a side plank. <laughs> no worries. Send those hips all the way up to the sky. Raise that left leg all the way in the air. Exhale, go ahead and bring that left leg outside of your left hand. And then open up into uh, beautiful. Go ahead and open it up. Exhale, bring it back. She's going to go ahead and send that, that left leg back. And take it back into that hand walk all the way right back to neutral. Inhale, rise up, lift and lengthen. Exhale, we're going to do that on the other side. So high plank position first. Exhale, send those hips up. Bring that right leg all the way up sky high. Send that right leg outside of that right hand. And then go ahead and lift those right fingertips all the way up to the sky. Really working on a little bit of mobility here. And inhale, stand up nice and tall. Beautiful. So Heather's warmed up with a little bit of total body. You can run through it one more time, Heather. One more time each side. One, Come on. one more time each side. She's going to run through it. I like it. Beautiful. Downward facing. Raise that leg nice and high. The higher you get it, the bigger you can sweep. Really working out that, uh, that core. Working on twisting, waking up that back just a little bit. And she's gonna do the same thing on that right side. I always consider your body here like a sponge. Let's wring out that sponge and bring in all the good stuff right back in it. So Heather is gonna return right back to neutral and then she's gonna take her fist right by your shoulders and she's gonna start punching side to side through. We have one minute right here. So she's punching side to side and then continuing to wake up that torso, fatigue those arms, and in just a few moments here, so as you guys can notice, Heather is actually pivoting from side to side, waking her entire body up, and in just a few moments, I'm gonna ask Heather to do this in a squat position, so we start to really work on fatiguing those legs here. Again, at-home workouts, the name of the game is all about fatiguing, and so it's isometric holds, holding something for an extended period of time, so in four, in three, in two and one. Heather's going to hold this in a squat position and now she's going to punch side to side. Again, a lot of integration on the core right here. Um, we've got about 20 seconds right here, guys. So as you are at home, you're working that arm all the way across your body, working that torso, fatiguing our legs. How are your arms feeling already, Heather? Woo! Good. We've got Good. five. Crew in four, in three. We've got two and one. Heather's gonna take a, a stand up nice and tall, and she's gonna go ahead and take what's called a Frankenstein walk. So her arms are gonna be nice and long, and what she's gonna do is gonna connect one hand to the opposite foot right here. One hand to the opposite foot. So you can see this is working on balance. This is working on hip flexor, and again, still continuing to focus on that core integration. Still waking up your body. Frankenstein walk, beautiful, I love it. Crew, we've got 10 more just like this. After this, it's very important for us to boost that heart rate. So in just a moment, we're gonna take it into jumping jacks as we continue to finish out our warm up here. This is just a warm up, guys. In four, in three, in two, and in one. Crew, give yourself a nice deep inhale in and let's get started. Jumping jacks right here. 
Guys, again, don't be afraid to get your kids involved throughout this process. They can do all of the things that we are doing together today. Now, I should start doing this warm-up myself because uh, I think I'm up for the first strength portion, aren't I, Heather? Yeah. Why yeah. don't you continue right okay. there? All right. I'm going to get after the <laughs> jumping jack here. Heather's out. But I'm nice and I'm warm. In. How about you guys? We're nice and warmed up, right? Heart rate's up. Bodies are warm. Muscles are warm. Core is engaged, right? So we need to wake all of this up so that everything else can work through the rest of the workout. All right. Amy's probably got another. I don't know. What should we give her, like? 20. She does 20. You have to do 20. That's right. That's right. We're in this together for a teamwork. Let's work. Let's go last. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Grab some water, y'all. Take a deep breath. We should feel nice and warmed up and feel good now. Grab those weights, whatever you guys found. Anything will work. Just have it nearby. Push it off to the side just a little bit. So what we're going to do here, our first block of work, we have one minute of a lower body kind of elevated exercise. We're going to get that heart rate up during this lower body exercise. We're there for one minute, and then we've got a 30-30-30 breakdown. We're going to be targeting one muscle group, 30 seconds, three different ways. Okay? So this is where we're talking about time under tension. We're going to be hitting those biceps first when we get there, right? Then you've got another one minute of a lower body elevated exercise, and then another 30-30-30 hitting triceps. So the first exercise, you can use weights for this if you want to. You can just do body weight if you want to, but it's a reverse lunge to balance. Let's start with that right leg. Good. Right leg is going back, up to balance, back, up to balance. So we're here for about 30 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Now, if you're feeling really good and you've got a lot of energy today, you've been pent up for a while, and you want to throw this into a little bit of a plyometric, go for it. Because now we're in the meat and potatoes of the workout, right? Right, now it's time to get after it. 30 seconds on this leg and then we'll switch to the other. At any time, if your body does not feel like jumping today, you take the lower impact version. We've always got modifications for you. Check in with Ooh. those shoulders. Make sure they're directly over your hips at all times. Get ready to switch those legs in three, two, one. Left leg's going back. Lunge it back, up to balance. <sighs> Y'all are still breathing, right? Woo! Shoulders stacked over those hips. This is fun. Amy and I don't get to work out together very often. Nope. Ah. Full 30 seconds here. Amy, keep going. And I'm going to get you guys queued up for the next round of 30, 30, 30. So Amy's already got her weights in hand. We got about five seconds here. Three, two, one. One, grab those weights, hold them here. Isometric bicep hold. Hold them here. You can either high knees, stepping, or jogging. But I want you to hold the weights and move those legs. All right? Lower impact here. A little higher intensity here. Just about 30 seconds. All right? Keep going, Amy. Keep going, Amy. So this is activating those biceps right now, right? We're gonna have another minute putting tension on those biceps. Good, you got three, two, one. Keep those dumbbells and those weights right where they are and you need little pulses. Just a little bit below the elbow, a little bit above. A little below, a little above. You can take a stagger stance. You can have those feet next to each other. Core is engaged here. I like to say we've got like a little hook in our hips hook under there and engage that lower core. You know what I like to say, Heather. I know what you like to say. Squeeze your butt cheeks, everybody. Your butt cheeks. Every time you're standing up doing an exercise, boom, activate right back here. It's gonna activate all the way through here. Good, little pulses. Can we go just a little faster to finish these up? In four, three, full range of motion. Don't drop them. Here we go, all the way down, all the way up, down. All the way down, all the way up. Elbows are knocked in next to your side without wedging them in front of your rib cage, right? So they need to be independent of your body here. But the movement is just at that elbow. Bring those shoulder blades back. Beautiful. Let your heart okay, shine open. We've got four, three, two, one. Drop those water bottles to the side and we get back to that lower body, body elevated. I want you to start with wide legs here. 
We'll kind of stagger a little bit. Wide legs. You're going to go here, hop together. Wide, hop together. Wide, hop together. If we're not hopping today, you're just going to step. Wide and squat. Together and squat. Here's the higher impact. A little bit of plyometric. You see Amy's doing her own thing back there. <laughs> this is where it doesn't matter. As long as you're moving, we're working the right muscles. I don't care. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. So we're on this one for one minute, guys. One minute. We're boosting that heart rate again. Sending all that work into our legs. Yes. Amy, you look great. Thank you, Heather. Legs look good. Ah, hey, Michelle Stieber. Hey, Stacy. What's up, Anna? Keep it up. I hope you guys are keeping time. Chain your count. Let's go 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Our next 30, 30, 30 block. Come down onto the floor for a tricep push-up. Please start these on your knees. Bring those hands just under your shoulders. Elbows are gonna go straight back, rubbing your ribcage. We've got 30 seconds right here. Let's go. Time to work. Press it up. Take that gaze out in front of you just a little bit. That's gonna help lengthen through your spine. Right, when we drop that head, that neck curves forward. We wanna keep that reach through our spine. We're here for 30 seconds. Strong tricep push-up. Good, full extension there, trying to dome out that upper back at the top. You still have those water bottles, weights, whatever you're using nearby. Yeah, you take a little stretch when you Woo! need it, right? <laughs> Give me three, two, one. Grab those weights, stand on up. We're gonna face this direction this time. And you have a kickback. So those triceps have had a lot of time under tension so far. And now we're gonna kick it back. Good. I know it's like we're like nose to nose and we can't cry. Good. Hinge forward from those hips. We're keeping our social distancing, everybody. That's right. She's actually six feet away from me. <laughs> but I'm about to get close here because we're going to change a little something with Amy. Boom. Right there. Don't come any closer. Kick it all the way back. Stop. Back. Stop. You put mid 90 degrees in those elbows and that's it. All right. Kick it back. Once we get through these kickbacks, we're going to turn those palms facing up, straighten out those arms, and give me a little tiny press backs. We should be feeling it in the back of those arms, right? Hey, try oh, yeah. Back. Good. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Palms face back, straight arm press back. So now when we start to get tired here, the first thing to go is posture, right? So engage that core, lift that chest. Gaze up, press up. Look you got it. Come on. Look, keep it going. Keep pressing. You guys are going to earn that heart straight open. Come on. You're going to earn a little bit of a rest here. But you got to push through these press backs. It's all back here. Let's go. You got five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Grab some water. Here, grab some of that water. I'm going to have to break open one of my dumbbells. Now, if she breaks open one dumbbell, she's got to break open the other dumbbell and make sure it's even, right? So you get a few seconds of a recovery right here. Grab some water, towel off, catch your breath. Nice deep inhales in through our nose, and exhale, let it go. How you guys doing out there? Woo, hi, you Melissa. Erin, I see that you're watching. Are you working? Yeah, you guys better not just be watching. <laughs> you guys better not just be watching us. Crew, next up, next flat, coming in hot in about 15 seconds. Again, focused on total body right here. Really focus on fatiguing our body, picking one thing, working on it till fatigue, and then moving to something else. So you can keep your water dumbbells, whatever you guys have, your dumbbells off to the side if you're working with real dumbbells. First up, Heather's gonna take her hands behind her ears, and this is called a squat twist. So she's gonna start with feet shoulder width apart, just like so, and she's gonna go ahead, squat down, and take her opposite elbow to opposite knee. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. We've got 60 seconds, guys, right here. So not only are we continuing to focus on the legs, but we're also, again, focusing on that core. A lot of core integration in today's practice crew. A lot of core integration. 
Yes, Heather, beautiful. You're killing it. Awesome. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. If we do have any lower back issues, just go ahead and take this squat. We can still do that many leg lift. Feel free to omit the, uh, the twists if needed, whatever your practice allows today. Awesome job, Heather. Exhale down. We've got about 20 more seconds after this. We're going to pick up our small dumbbells. We're going to pick up our small weights. We're going to pick up our milk jugs. Whatever we had initially when we started this at home workout, guys. Awesome job. Here we've got 10. Here we go. This is training count in five. Crew, we've got four, right? In three, we've got two, and one. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab her weight. She's gonna take it into a reverse grip row. So go ahead and turn your palms to face our direction here. So away from your body. And Heather is going to bring those dumbbells up and squeeze and hold for three, two, and release. Exhale down, beautiful squeeze and hold for three, two, and one, down, rise up, beautiful, hold for three, we've got two, and one, let it go, bring it back, squeeze for three, two, and one, let it go, beautiful, again, we've got three more just like this, guys, in three, two, one, release, bring it back up, beautiful, notice how Heather is squeezing her shoulder blades together, go ahead and release, last one right here, and squeeze for three, Two and one. Now Heather's gonna turn her palms in. She's gonna bring it up and she is gonna pulse right here next to her chest for 30 seconds. Again, Woo! notice Heather's spine from her tailbone through the crown of her head. Everything is nice and neutral. She's squeezing and pulsing and squeezing. Micro movements, crew. Micro movements. Stay with it. You guys got it. You guys look awesome. Guys, stay with it. Stay strong. Oh, yes, beautiful We've got 10 more seconds, guys. 10 more seconds to go. Stay with it. And after this, we're going to change our tune. Still sticking with that 30, 30, 30. Here we go. In four, in three, in two, and one. Heather's now going to turn her palms to face away. And she's going to go ahead and go out nice and wide. Up and wide with those elbows. And hold it there. Beautiful. Hold it up top for three. And two, Woo! and one, let it go, beautiful, and up, and squeeze, and exhale, let it go, beautiful, squeeze it in, yes, and let it go, crew, we've got five more, just like so, three, two, release, beautiful, bring it back up, and hold for three, two, release, bring it back, oh, squeeze it up, you guys got it, at home, come on, stay with us, people, and release, Got one more. Here we go. Bring it up and hold. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Go ahead and send those weights to the side. Shake out your body. Give your body a little shaky, shaky crew. Let's go ahead. Are you ready for the real fun? Yes, we're ready for the real fun. We've got burpees. So Heather's going to go up nice and tall, just like so. She's going to exhale. Bring it down. High plank position. Thrust forward and right back up to her feet. Now, if we are doing a different variation of this, also step it out. You can step it in and you can woo right up to the sky, but you gotta woo. If you're at home, you gotta woo. So whether you're jumping woo! or you're hopping, anything goes crew. Anything goes. Your body can handle anything that you throw it over your way. You guys got it. Come on. Give me five more guys. Five more at home right here. Yes, beautiful. We've got four more. Beautiful crew. In three, in two, and last one is one. Do me a favor, stand Woo! up tall, take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go, guys. We have one more exercise for this set. Heather's going to take it down into a high plank position. Her spine is going to be nice and neutral from her heels all the way through the crown of our head. She's going to alternate leg raises right here, alternating leg raises right here. So one leg up. I want you guys to imagine at home that I am holding onto a string and that string is attached to your heel. And little by little, we're pulling it up. Now, for 30 seconds, we've got regular range of motion. In the next 30 seconds, we've got 15 seconds of a pulse on one leg and then 15 seconds of a pulse leg raise on the other leg. 
Crew in four. You guys got it. In three. Pick one leg right now. In two. And in one. Take a few seconds of a break real quick. All right, we've got 15 seconds. It starts right now. Notice Heather's dropping down to her other knee. If you can stay in that high plank position, that's fine too. It's some small, micro, mini range of motion pulses right here. In five, we're gonna switch that leg in four. We've got three, two, and one. She's gonna drop down to that other knee and the other leg is gonna pulse for 15 seconds right here. Now, after this 15 seconds is over, one more time, we're gonna go back to those alternating leg raises. You got it in four. We've got three, two, and one through. Go ahead and alternate that pulse leg raise, guys, after this block, after this 30 seconds right here crew, we can go ahead and take a few seconds to recover. We're gonna grab some water. We're gonna take a few deep breaths in. We're gonna recover in just a few moments, but you gotta earn it, crew. You gotta work with it. Stay with it, Spanga. I know you guys are killing it at home. Trust me, stay with me. Crew in four. You guys got it, stay with me in three. Come on, at home workouts, we've got two. And one, awesome job, everybody, awesome job. Yes, go ahead, take it into a brief child's pose if needed, but most importantly, stand up tall, focus on your breath, grab some water, towel off, and Woo. we've got a few more sets coming at you right here, guys. How are we doing? Shoulders are on fire after that one, y'all. Yes, girl. Nice work. You guys are killing it. I'm loving the com uh, the comments come through. Oh, Red House Bulldogs, love you. Thanks for watching. You better be doing this workout. You better be doing this workout, guys. Stay with it. All right, guys, so we're going to transition a little bit. Take your shoes off at this point and grab and do that extra pair of socks. Don't use the ones that are on your feet. It's kind of gross. Um, well, for the first one, <laughs> leave your socks on. Um, leave your socks on. For the first exercise, you will actually be using the ones on your feet. We're going to keep them on your feet, though. Don't put them on your hands. But have that extra pair of socks or those um, paper plates nearby. If you have um, any hard floor surface, if you've got a hardwood floor, um, tile floor, anything like that, I want you to transition to that if you're on carpet. You can do the same thing on carpet, but you definitely need those paper plates. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of sliding. And the first exercise that Amy's using the plate here, it works really well on that hard surface, guys, if you guys are around one. If not, you can put the paper plate right on a piece of carpeting, too. That's completely fine. Works the same way. So we're going to do, we're going to start with the side lunge. We're going to go 30 seconds each leg. Here's the important part of this. So we're going to go right leg out to start. It's going to look like left to you. Right leg's going out to start. Amy's going to sink into that left leg as she pushes that right leg out. And then when we come back up, we have to drag, 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 press it into the floor to squeeze those legs back together. Press it down and out, down and out. You guys got this. And squeeze it back up. Good. 30 seconds starts now. Those two bonus reps right there. Now, you're more than welcome to use some at-home weights, too. But odds of this being enough are pretty darn good, true. Looking good. So you'll notice. Amy's chest is coming forward a little bit, but she's staying long through her spine, so she's not collapsing through her spine. She's staying here, and as she goes down, pushes those hips back. Squeeze and draw it together. We're feeling this in the right place. Yes, that's what it's all about right here, right? I want you to feel this a little bit tomorrow. And let's switch sides. Move that paper plate, or just start right on that other side. Left leg out to the side. Slide it out with purpose here, guys. Squeeze it back together. Good. It's going to be more effective the harder you can press into the floor and drive into that slide. So you to push into that plate, push into that sock, squeeze them back together. We're going to stay on our legs when we go to the second exercise here. We're going to keep that plate or those socks on. We're just going to switch it back over to the right leg. Good. Give me two more, Larry. One more. And back up. Switch over to your right leg again. Now this time. There you go. Back up just a touch. We're going to sink down into a squat. I want you to hold this squat. Now with that right foot, you're going to try to make circles. Circle that plate or those toes around. Circle them around. And again, here's the trick. Press into it. Push it down and drive it around in that circle. Squeeze it back together. 
drive it around, squeeze it back. Woo, legs are on fire. Yes, the heat is good. The heat is good in those legs. Just give me a couple more on this side. Woo, three, two, and one. Switch legs, let's head it over to that left leg. Same thing, we're gonna start with the squat. Drop it low, hold that squat, then get moving. Yes, looking good, y'all. All right, Cincy. We got the whole crew out in Cincinnati going. I love it. Work it out there. Come on, Beckett. Beautiful. Stay there. When you start to get tired, you're going to start coming out of that squat. Keep it low. Keep it low. Give me just a couple more reps there. And rest. So now you're either going to take those paper plates to your hands or you're going to put on those socks. I know, kind of weird, right? But we're going to be using all kinds of household stuff for this. I want you to find a strong plank. Plank under your hands or those socks on. And this is little tiny movements. Feel free to take your knees here. I actually recommend it. Come down to those knees. And we're just going to squeeze. Hands out just a little bit. Squeeze them back together. We need nice, soft elbows here, guys. Soft elbows to squeeze back to the center. We're going to feel lots of core, and you're going to feel crazy chest engagement here. This is basically a prone fly. This is a way for you to work that chest, fly position, with no equipment. All right? Normally, to get those big muscles right here, you need some big, heavy dumbbells. Tell me you're not feeling this in your chest. Hey, how are you doing? Woo! Yes! We can see when you're at home not doing this and just watching, by the way. Woo. Okay, here we go. Let's do one more because these are tough. Bring it back to the center. Hold it right here in your plank. And we're going to reach one arm out. You'll feel yourself dips. Pull it back. Left arm to alternate. Reach and pull it back. Reach and pull it back. Take it nice and slow. The slower, the more controlled, the more effective. Right? Kind of retention here. So if we can hold that plank as long as we can before taking a rest, even better. Good. Reach and pull it back. So now, chest is still engaged, but that movement here to here is your lats. So now we're almost like we're almost like we're doing a pull-up, right? Squeeze those lats, draw those shoulder blades down nice and pull. Good. One more each side. Amy sped up those lats too. Did you see that? Woo! And rest. Take a little child's pose. Stretch out through those lats in that chest. Sink those hips back towards your heels. Take a breath. You guys are looking for We're 30 minutes in. We're going to transition. You've already got your shoes off. We're going to flip over and transition to a core block and then head right into yoga. You guys good? Right at the core, guys. If you take my sessions regularly, you know I'm all about core. Our core is our foundation. And it's so very important. When you have a strong foundation, everything else just kind of falls into place. If you have, I don't know, I don't know why Heather's getting two mats out right now. I'm not too sure why. Uh, but if you have a weak core, you've got a whole lot of other problems, right? So let's always focus on finding that core stability. And it starts really with the ground up. So we're going to do just that here. So. You guys can go ahead and grab anything around your house. You can go ahead and grab your water bottles that you got out if you want to. Um, I'll go ahead and, and grab these two. We're going to get started with just using one. This can also be done with body weight as well. Just go ahead, either heels up or heels down on this one. If we are just using body weight, you're going to sandwich your hands together. And we're still going to rotate, working our torsos from side to side. Heels up or heels down. We've got a Russian twist crew. Let your heart shine open from side to side. Let's work. We've got 30 seconds followed by a 15 second recovery right here. Again, leaning back. Nice long spine. I love a Russian twist. Anybody can really do this one. Heels up or heels down. Or stay with it. We're halfway there. Working that whole upper body, that whole torso along with this exercise. Squeezing that weight that's in front of you. Excuse me. Side 
to side. You guys got it for in four, in three, in two, and one. 15 second recovery right here, guys. 15 seconds, recovery as needed. Go ahead, take a few nice deep inhales in. Now this next one, you can either use a weight for this or you can use just your upper body only. I want you to imagine that you've got two X's behind you. And notice that Heather is going to tap those X's that are behind her. If you just want to utilize one weight, the other arm reaches nice and tall. We're handing this side off. We're tapping those X's. Again, weight is 100% optional. Elongating through our spine. Again, heels up or heels down on this one. Inhale, rise up, lift and lengthen. Reach, reach, reach nice and long. Notice we're not sacrificing any core stability, any stability within our spine. I could do core all day. How about you guys? Up. In five. Crew, we've got four. In three. In two. And one. We're going to set those weights down to the side. If you do want to utilize them, you're more than welcome. Our toesies are going to go all the way up to the sky. You have two options here. You can either reach out with both arms or you can cross it, opposite hand to opposite foot if you wish. Let's work. 30 seconds right here. Toes up to the sky. You guys got it. Stay with it, crew. Again, those of you guys that are at home right now, I know this is tough. I know that your core is on fire. Stay with it. Reach nice and long. Whether we're able to touch our toes, our shins, our ankles, whatever works for us in our practice today, guys. We have 15 seconds left to go, crew. Stay with this thing. I know you guys are at home. I know you're killing it. Come on, stay with me. <laughs> crew, our cores are everything in five. We've got four. In three. We've got two and one 15 second recovery. Next up crew, we're gonna go ahead and take some leg raises. If anybody that is watching right now has any lower back issues or anything like that, you can go ahead and take a reverse crunch. So you're gonna send your ladies up nice and long towards my direction and then just bring your knees into your chest. That is an alternative movement for you. Just like Heather's doing now, bringing her knees in just like so. This alleviates any pressure on the lower back. And if we're healthy enough, let's go ahead and send those leggies up nice and long. And as we exhale, we're gonna slowly lower those legs down, either one at a time or both together. Sometimes it helps to keep your hands right underneath your sit bones crew. You guys got it, we've got 30 seconds. Now try not to let your knees and your thighs go past your hip joints here. You guys got it, crew. All the way down, legs nice and straight. Point your toesies away from your body. You guys got it, crew. Stay with it, stay strong. Oh, are we at 30 yet? Woo, no, not yet. How are those arms feeling, crew? Oh. I'm just kidding, I'm taking your mind away from that core. You guys got it, crew, in 10. Stay with me. In five, trainer count, we've got four. In three, we've got two. And one, 15 second recovery. Give your body a nice tight squeeze, a nice big bear hug. Next, we're gonna take it onto our forearms crew for a forearm plank to start things off. Forearm plank on the tippiest part of our tippy toes. We've got a 30 second plank, but here's how we're gonna make it a little bit different today. This is called a plank saw, and we're just gonna shift our front body forward and shift our body back. But now the key here is, as you shift forward, don't bring those sit bones up, which many of us do. Crew, we've got 30 seconds. This is our last core exercise right here before we take it on over to yoga. Let's ignite that core, let's keep it on fire. So Heather's just gonna slowly shift herself forward, keeping her sit bones back, and then she's gonna shift her heels back Almost as if there's a wall behind you and that wall pushes you forward and then that wall brings you right back, guys. We're there, we're already 10 seconds into our plank saw right here, crew. Now after this, I want you guys to go on today and make sure that you guys let us know what was your favorite exercise, what was your favorite set, or maybe what you guys need to work on. You guys got it, crew. In 10, stay with it, Spangle, we're there. We're right there. In five, after this we get to recover in four. 
Stay with me, crew. Finish strong in three. Don't give up. If we start up, we start over. Yes, two, and one. Awesome job, Spanga. Awesome job. Woo! Woo! Drop it down to those knees. Lift your head above your heart. Take a couple nice deep breaths in. Grab some water. Grab some water, crew. And next up, we're going to get ready. You guys ready for some yoga? So take it into yoga. Heck yeah. So if you have socks on, they're always optional for yoga. I always find it's a little stickier, a little grippier. With shoes off. Maybe for the sake of the current situation, you're going to stay on your mat. I'm going to stay on my mat. <laughs> and I'll guide Amy through this here. So starting up at the top part of your mat, or just towards us, come a little bit closer. Roll those shoulders back. Ground your feet into the mat. We're just going to start grounding our body, getting our breath under control, and finding a new connection to that breath. I'm sure it's a little elevated right now. So roll those shoulders back, palms facing forward. Good. Pressing all four corners of our feet, all ten toes into the mat. Inhale as we draw our shoulders up towards our ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. Again, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, roll back and down. This time, bring your arms in with it. Inhale, arms wide and high. Exhale, goal post your arms. Take a little cactus here with your upper body. You can take a little back bend here, but if we back bend, keep those hips stacked. Lift and open the chest. We're still breathing. On our next inhale, take those arms nice and high. And exhale, forward fold. Reverse that swan dive that took us up. And swan dive down. Let your head hang heavy here. Maybe cradle your forearms and take a little rag doll, letting the weight of your upper body pull you a little bit deeper into that forward fold. Good. Maybe nodding yes, shaking your head no. Again, always ending with yes. When you're ready, release those arms back to your mat. Bring your hands to your shins and on an inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, fold, and let's find a high plank. Plant your hands, step those feet back to that plank. I promise we won't be here long. You were just there. I totally get it. But let's button up this plank, right? So shoulders are stacked over our wrists. Zip up between those legs. Booty is activated, core is engaged. The sooner we can get there, the sooner we can move. So we feel it. Let's flow to down dog. So we inhale, shift forward an inch or two. Exhale as we lower down, squeeze those elbows in. Feel free to take your knees here if you need to. Inhale to up dog, lift your chest, draw your shoulders down and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hinge your hips high towards the sky. Take some movement here if your body's asking for it. Maybe pedaling out your feet, wagging your hips side to side. And then finding stillness in your downward facing dog, pressing into all ten fingers. All four corners of those hands, let your heels sink into the mat, feeling a driving force up through those sit bones to the ceiling. On our next inhale, let's soften our knees, gaze to the top of our mat, exhale as we travel to the top, hop or step those feet, inhale halfway lift, hands to your shins, flatten out your back, exhale fold, inhale, now we reverse that swan dive, bring it all the way up to high mountain. Exhale, bowl, post your arms, open your chest. Inhale, back to high mountain. Exhale, forward fold, big, aggressive fold, big breath, big movement. Inhale, half and lift a little faster. Exhale, fold, find your high plank. Inhale, shift forward, we flow to down dog. Exhale, we come down halfway and hover. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right into the next one. Inhale, soften your knees, gaze up. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, fold. Inhale to high mountain, rise up. Exhale, fold, post your arms over your chest. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, find your high plank. We're forcing this breath to movement here. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down to that hover. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, y'all. Hang out in this down dog for a little bit. 
Get that breath connected back to your movement, back to stillness here. On our next inhale, let's send that right leg high, three-legged dog, heel to the ceiling. Exhale, sweep it through and plant it between your hands. Now this part's important. It's important to get that knee stacked over our ankle, just like you see Amy here. So if it doesn't land in the right place, pick it up and just put it in the right place. It's okay. Nothing happens perfectly in yoga. It's all a practice. You can take that knee if you need to at any time during our lunges. But feel a little scissoring between those inner thighs. Left hip shifting forward, right hip shifting back. Engage your core. Inhale, up, press, and lunge. Love it. Shoulders are stacked over our hips. Knees stacked over our ankle. We're strong through those thighs. Inhale as we reach. Exhale, hinge forward. We're going to stay in our lunge, but hinge forward. Reach through those fingertips. Reach through the crown of your head. Feel that weight going into that front leg. Quad is on fire. Am I right, Amy? Oh, it's fire. Yeah. Breathe through that fire. Breathe through that heat. On our next inhale, come back up. Rise back up to your crescent lunge. And on an exhale, pivot that left foot down and open up warrior two. Good. Again, we need, we need to make adjustments with those feet. Make adjustments with your feet. Totally fine. Right knee still stacked over our ankle. Reaching palms down. Gaze is over that middle finger. Take a look at that nail on your middle finger. Blur everything else behind it. Bring focus to your practice here. On our next inhale, flip that right hand up and we reverse our warrior reach up and back, lengthening through our spine as we come at, up and back and maintaining our warrior stance here. On our next exhale, cartwheel those arms down to the mat. Send that right leg jack to meet the left. You guys know what's coming. We flow to down dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale down, bring those hips down with you. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Take a second here to connect. Get back to your breath. And on our next inhale, let's send that left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it through, plant it between those hands. Take a knee if you need to. Scissor between those legs and inhale. Using that core strength, rise up, press and lunge. Shoulders stacked over our hips. We're strong through our legs. Inhale as we reach to our fingertips. And exhale, hinge forward. Reach through the crown of our head. You can go as far as your body allows as long as we maintain that long, strong line through our spine and we don't collapse into the pose. Stay strong here, hold. On our next inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Good, so you're gonna see the back of Amy now. Doing her solid here, tuck her tuck. Arms are outstretched. <laughs> we gotta look out for each other. Arms are outstretched. Now our gaze is over that left middle finger. Blur everything behind it. Maintain that focus. As you're staring at that middle finger, pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to your legs. Your core engagement. Flip that left hand up as we inhale. Reverse our warriors. Amy taking a little just half bind here. If your body allows that spine. Otherwise that right arm can just glide down that right leg. Opening up that left side body. On our next exhale, cartwheel our arms down to the mat. Send that left leg back to meet the right. Last flow to down dog. Here we go. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale up dog. Exhale downward facing dog. All together, stay your fam. We all deserve it right now. So I'll take a big inhale through our nose. Open up, exhale, and drop down to tabletop on our hands and knees. Bring those knees a little wider than hip width, and bring those toes to touch behind you. Good, and sit back into child's pose. So it's important to take those knees just a little bit wider, creates a little bit of space for our belly to sink a little bit lower towards the ground. Rest your forehead on the floor. If it doesn't quite meet the floor, maybe rest it on a fist. 
or that cold water bottle and they feel good about now. Then come back to your breath. Beautiful. Nice job through the strength portion of yoga, guys. Amy's going to take it from here and take us through a little flexibility. This is the part we've been waiting for, right? Crew, as we're taking in and rising up, right back into a tabletop position on all fours. Find that nice and neutral spine here. So from Heather's tailbone through the crown of our head and from yours at home, let's make sure that we're still melting and grounding into our mat. So Heather's fingertips are spread just like a starfish. Can we go ahead and curl our toes under, lift our kneecaps one to two inches off of our mat for a brief turbo drop. Engaging everything in, release that exhale again. Big inhale into our nose and exhale downward facing. Send those hips all the way up to the sky. Getting ready to set ourselves up for pigeon pose, really waking up those hips. If anybody does have any hip issues at home or anything like that, this can also be done on our back. Let's find stillness underneath that left foot. Inhale, right leg is in the air, nice and long, three legged dog. Finding that leg as we exhale, go ahead and send your right knee right behind or right outside that right hand. Dropping that left knee down to our mat. Notice that Heather's taking the top of her foot, grounding that into our mat. Now, before we actually get into our practice, can we all sit up nice and tall? Sink down into those hips just a little bit deeper. Let's keep that left hand planted. Right fingertips slow flawlessly all the way up to the sky, really waking up that side body. Sinking into that ball and socket just a little bit deeper before we take it down into our pigeon. Take a nice big inhale and as we exhale, go ahead and walk it down whether it be to our palms, forearms, or if your body prefers a full extension onto your mat. A lot of times in pigeon pose, we often get into this practice a little bit too quick. Always a reminder, there's small baby steps throughout this process. You're more than welcome to place that forehead on your mat if you wish, wherever it's most comfortable. But as we hang out here and we focus on finding our stillness, continue to work on your breath. Nice, big, deep inhales in through our nose. And ah, open those lips and exhale, just let it go. Hanging out here for just a few more moments, a few more breaths. When your body's ready on that next inhale, start to walk your hands right back up to that neutral position. Curl those left toes under, lift that left knee off of our mat. As we start to lift ourselves up, send that right leg out in three-legged dog, shake it out in the air, maybe drawing a couple circles, just shaking it out, whatever works for you in your practice today. When you are ready, gracefully send the bottom of that right foot onto your mat. Feel free to walk that dog, paddle up those legs. And on that next strong inhale, can we inhale that left leg all the way up in the air, sky high. As we exhale, go ahead and send that left knee right outside or right behind that left hand, dropping that right knee down to your mat. Sending, well Heather's gonna show the, the other variation here. So the other variation is gonna be a figure four on your back. So Heather's gonna cross over that left ankle. So if anybody does have any issues at home or anything like that, we can go ahead and cross that left ankle over that right thigh. You would thread one opening through or around your, your thigh. Bring that thigh a little bit closer to your chest. With that inhale, we find length. Every exhale on this one, we would melt our tailbone into our mat, into our practice. Starting to find your stillness and taking a few more moments here. If we did take our pigeon pose, let's start to work our upper body up. And go ahead and shift all your weight onto that left sit bone, swinging that right leg around in front of you. If you did take your supine figure four, slowly go ahead and send the bottoms of your feet onto your mat and softly lift yourself right back up into a seated staff pose. Sending those legs out nice and long, pointing those toesies to the sky. As we hang out here, maybe it takes removing any squishy parts underneath our sit bones. It's okay, we all got them. Maybe it takes sitting up nice and tall, so from Heather's tailbone all the way through the crown of her head, everything is nice and neutral. If I were to walk by and push on Heather, there should be a little bit of a give there. That spine is nice and neutral. She's separating each vertebrae. Can we inhale, raise our arms up nice and tall, and as we exhale, deep belly exhale, reaching, 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 keeping her elbows right by her ears until she's 
drops them all the way down into that forward fold. Whether it be touching your toes, your ankles, your shins, whatever allows for you and your practice. If we have any expected mamas at home, you're more than welcome to use your hands and just sing forward just a touch with your chest. There's so many different variations that we can take with our body and our practice. On that next inhale, even if it's just one centimeter, can we celebrate that wind getting just a little bit deeper into our practice? Using our breath again to find length, using that exhale to melt a little bit deeper. Next inhale, find that length as we exhale. I'm just gonna return right back to that nice neutral spine as we sit up nice and tall. Getting ready to take a small spinal twist, can we take our left leg over that right? Keep our left hand next to the left hip. Let's raise that right arm all the way up in the air, sky high. Go ahead and cross that right elbow over that left thigh. Inhale, find the length throughout the crown of our head. And as we exhale, I'm just going to slowly start to turn from our torso, her rib cage, chest, and lastly, gaze to follow. Now this is another one that we oftentimes as instructors, we see a lot of people just try to rush into this portion. There are small, many baby steps, and it's very important to really separate each vertebrae so that we can grow through the crown of our head and that we can sink a little bit deeper. On that next inhale, can I encourage you to grow through the crown of your head a little bit taller. That's gonna allow us to twist just a little bit deeper if our body allows. Nice big inhale in through our nose. And as we exhale, let's take our gaze, our chest, and torso right back to that neutral position. Separating this with another seated forward fold. Can we send both ladies out back into that staff pose? Find that length, and ah, exhale, grow throughout those fingertips, grow throughout your spine. Again, as I mentioned earlier, even if it's just one centimeter that we're growing, let's celebrate that little win today in today's practice. Finding that length. Deep inhales in through our nose. Ha! Ah, exhale, let it go. Sink deeper into your practice. Nice big inhale in through our nose. And as we exhale, can we slowly rotate right back to that nice neutral spine into our staff pose. This time, we're going to take it onto that other side. So let's send that right leg over that left thigh. Keep that right hand next to the right hip for support. Inhale, that left arm comes all the way up nice and long. Exhale, go ahead and cross that left elbow at the side of that right thigh. Inhale, find length throughout the crown of your head. And ah, start to twist from your torso, your rib cage, chest, and that's the base to follow. As we hang out here, focus on sinking into those sit bones, melting into your mat, growing throughout the crown of your head, digging a little bit deeper using our breath, finding our stillness, finding what for, works for us. And of course, any expecting mamas, if we are watching in the house, we could keep this open. Heather's gonna open everything up. You're more than welcome to still follow along with this practice, keeping that belly nice and open. Wherever we are in our practice today, let's take our gaze, chest, torso, right back to neutral position. Go ahead and send those leggies out nice and long. Separating again with one more forward fold. Inhale, rise up, look and lengthen, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, can we sink all the way down? Notice your body is prepared for what's about to come here. And we're able to get a little bit deeper with every breath, with every practice that we go through. We find that little inhale to find our leg. Again, if it's just one centimeter. Celebrate that win today. As we exhale, we deepen our practice. Start to slow your breath. Slow your practice. Nice big deep bellies, inhales. Inhales. Exhale, soften those lips. Let it go. Again, inhale, reach nice and long. As we exhale, let's return right back to the, that nice neutral spine. One arm right next to the other. Can we slowly start to take it back vertebrae by vertebrae, little by little. As we hang out in our practice, we're going to get ready to sink into a happy baby. I love happy baby pose, really waking up those hips, allowing a lot of relief. So Heather's going to open her knees a little bit wider, a little bit wider than her hip width. 
she's gonna go ahead and use her yogi fingers or use her index fingers and she's gonna go ahead and sink down or you can go ahead and take your arms through the opening you've created and your fingertips to the outer edges of your feet as well as Heather presses down, she's equally going to press up through the bottoms of her feet. So she's creating that dynamic tension within her practice. As she creates her dynamic tension within our practice. Sinking into our pose, sinking into our practice. Finding our stillness. Again, there's that dynamic tension where we're pressing down, but yet up through our fingertips. Nice big inhale in through our nose. And as Heather exhales, she's going to give her body a nice tight squeeze, a nice big bear hug, thanking her body for being able to move this way. Softly lifting her head and neck and shoulders off of her mat if her body allows. Holding it there for just a moment. Thanking yourself for your health, your happiness, and the ability to do this work out here today. Squeezing everything in one last time. And on that deep belly exhale, here we go ahead, send everything nice and long. Your hands can be placed wherever they're most comfortable. Maybe it's one hand over your belly, one hand over your heart. Maybe it's next to your hips, palms face up. Wherever it's most comfortable for you in your practice today, whatever that is for you. Let's start to soften our eyebrows, our eyelids. If your tongue is on the roof of your mouth, gracefully let it fall. As we hang out here, Let's be mindful that this might be your very first moment of silence that you got to yourself today. For some of us, this moment might be the last moment of silence that we get to ourselves today. Let's not take these moments for granted. Taking a few deep breaths in, melting into our mat with every exhale. We relax our body. We find our stillness. And we're grateful for this moment. On our next inhale, we start to wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes, bringing awareness and small, tiny movements back to our body, back to our practice. On that next deep, strong inhale, we bring our arms all the way over our head, really offering our body one last final full body stretch, reaching in two different directions. As we exhale, melt into your mat one more time. Let that deep belly exhale go. Any worries, any anxieties, any tasks to do's agendas, leave them all right here. Next inhale, we bring our knees into our chest and slowly rotate to our right or left side, whichever is the most comfortable for us in our practice. And on that next strong inhale, we slowly and softly press ourselves right back up into that nice neutral spine, that nice seated position that's comfortable for us. Still sitting up nice and tall, still letting our whole heart shine open one more time as a group and bringing it with us in everything we do about our day, about our week, about our practice. As we inhale together as a group, let's inhale strength, pride, and positive vibes reaching all the way up. And ah, deep belly exhale as we exhale. Let go of any tasks, to do's, agendas. Leave it all here on your mat. Awesome job, guys. Give yourself a huge round of applause. Thank you so very much for joining with us today. Heather and I are so grateful for all of you guys for joining us. There's going to be many, many more, and we're kicking off again tomorrow. We are, yes. We are going to have live workouts streaming to you guys on all of these corporate pages. Um, every day through the end of the month is scheduled. And... If things continue the way they are, we'll have them um, um, through oct or, uh, October, not through October, through April, um, as long as we need to. So we're here for you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We appreciate you guys staying healthy and doing everything you can to move. It's so important to keeping you healthy, your mind healthy, and it benefits not only you, but your family as well. So stay strong, everybody, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Awesome. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining today.